Hello YouTube, today I'm doing an unboxing, review, and setup of the Anchor Bluetooth wireless keyboard. It's made by the brand Anchor, they're an Amazon based brand, or at least they might have a website, I don't know. You have to go check that out. But you slide the cover up, or the cover of the keyboard off, you open the cardboard box, it's kind of a neat sleek design. And then it's got a little paper inside that asks if you're happy or not happy, what to do if you're happy, like leave a review for them on Amazon or what to do if you're not happy, like returning it to Amazon, but I've had a few of their products in my time, like cords for my cords to charge devices and this keyboard, and they all work really well, so I think Anchor's a pretty good brand. As you can see, this keyboard highly resembles Apple's keyboard. It looks almost, it looks extremely close to what Apple's keyboard looks like, So, uh, but there's one major difference you'll notice if you pick it up. It's much, well not much, but a little bit lighter and because it's made of plastic so that's the only really downside but it works for your iPad, iPhone, Mac it probably works for Android devices but it will have different key functions but uh, I skipped this over but there's it takes two AA batteries and it can hold a wireless dongle or whatever for your mouse I don't know what you'd call it I'm probably not going to use that I don't know why I just doesn't, don't feel the need to for it but to turn it on you just flip the switch on the back it's going to go green. There's light on the top that's going to go green, and then it's going to turn blue. And then you're going to press the keys function, the FN key, and the Z key at the same time. It doesn't say that in the instructions. Not that I saw it. I barely read the instructions. But you press those two keys for pairing for a device you've never paired with before. And then it will show up in the devices category. As you can see there, it says anchor, and then a number, a letter, some letters and numbers. And you hit pair, and you enter that code on your keyboard. It, it gives you a randomized code each time you pair it newly and you hit enter and it says connected on your Mac. I'm not sure if it does the same, I don't think it does the same thing on the iPhone and iPad, but um, it, it types really well right there. I'm just typing my channel. I'm not even sure if you can see that. I didn't have it in very good focus, but whatever. So this keyboard is really nice. I think for $15, yeah, that's what I got it for off Amazon. It's a pretty nice keyboard. It looks like it'll hold up well. Um, with light use, I wouldn't throw it around or anything. I wouldn't do that with any keyboard. But it'll probably, Apple's keyboard will probably last longer, but Apple's would be one to get more dense considering it's aluminum. But like I said, Apple's much nicer, but I don't want to pay $70 for Apple's keyboard. And I'm pretty sure most of you don't. So this keyboard is a really nice substitute. So to pair it with the iPad, you just do pretty much the same thing, but go to the iPad's Bluetooth settings. And once you've paired it with the device, you don't need to do that pairing sequence anymore. You don't have to enter the code unless it forgets it again somehow. But you can use the keys at the top of the keyboard. Like you can turn up your brightness, you can go to your home on your iPad, you can turn up music, pause it, skip it, all that kind of stuff. You can lock your computer, lock your iPad. So it's got many different function keys, and I think it's really cool. But it also functions as a great um, keyboard for your Mac. So it works really well for all devices, and it'll probably work great for Android devices and Google devices too. So there probably shouldn't be any problem there, except for the fact that it has command keys. That's about it, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.